Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Epic Skywars. So this is probably the best Skywars plugin that I've come across. It has so many unique features which make it really good and you will see those a bit later. So to get started, go to your um, main world and do forward slash ESW set lobby like that. And uh, once you've done that, you can put in a world into your server folder. Um, so you can make that or download it. I'll leave a link to the one that I use in this tutorial. Um, and we are going to create it by doing ESW create and the map name. So make sure you spell it exactly uh, or you may have an issue. So it's called Rebel Map. Hit enter, it will teleport you there. And as you can see, it looks quite nice. Um, pretty cool uh, theme going here. And once you are here, um, you can do a variety of things. So first of all, let's let's go ahead and give it a name. So if you do uh, ESW set name, and obviously we are going to call it Arena 2. There we go. And um, that will be the name it is in the config. So I'll shoot that a bit later. Once you've done that, we need to set the center of the map, which is about here, kind of. It, uh, it doesn't have to be exact. So do ESW set center. Spelt the American way, not the British way. So. Uh, Keep that in mind. And uh, while you're at the center, you can also uh, set the TNT spawn by doing ESW TNT spawn. We can also um, edit the radius of uh, the map crumble feature. So don't set this too large or nothing will happen. Um, but I'm just gonna set a random, um, random number and hope it works. So I don't know, 40. As you can see here, if it doesn't crumble, decrease your map radius value. Um, we also need to set the player spawn points, which is very important. So this is very straightforward. ESW set spawn and just repeat it how many times you want. Now, um, there is something important that you need to do to the bucket YML and your server.properties file. I will show you that later, but you should probably do that first. So if you have bought the plugin and you're trying to set it up, Watch the whole video um, before attempting anything, or you, you could uh, mess it up and go wrong. So um, that's that's probably the best advice. We can also set a spectator spawn. Uh, I'm just going to set it in the middle of the map, um, just for the tutorial. Uh, set spec spawn, like that. And the final thing we need to do is um, set the mob spawn. So you can create... Uh, these in the config file by default there's only one it's called defender so if we do ESW uh, spawn mob uh, defender and let's have a look at him so he's got a custom name tag he's wearing gold armor and he has a particle effect so when a player will get near him he will be um, attacked and if the player can kill him he will drop an item of loot which is uh, really cool so that's a really nice feature haven't seen that before you could set more of them um, maybe a round of um, a particularly good chest or in a particularly good chest room something like that and then finally we need to ESW done and that will teleport us back to the lobby and we can get our other account in and have a little game so uh, I'm gonna do that now so I'm back in the game now after changing the min players as you can see there are a few items in here we have the mad scientist chicken farmer kit Miner kit and destructor kit. So let's select the destructor kit, and we have a voting tool so you can select a map. Um, so just pick whichever one you want. I'm going to get my other account in now. There he is, and he's obviously going to vote for a map as well. He can select a kit, uh, so he's going to select chicken farmer. As you can see, there's a countdown in the game, and I also downloaded this map um, earlier. I don't know, it's meant to be um, a Skywalls map, but I, it it didn't look like the picture um, of the website I downloaded it from, which is really strange. But um, yeah, we have spawned in, and as you can see, uh, here here is the Ultra Defender that I was talking about. Um, probably best not to get hit near him, and this is the TNT. So as you can see, if I left click it, it will throw it far. And if I right click it, it will drop in front of me. So if I left click, hopefully that will do some damage to him. And we also have um, this very useful item because we're the destructor class. So if we just watch, it will actually destroy the map. So if a player was standing there, he'd be gone. Goodbye. Um, 
but yeah, um, if I just try and push him off, we can't actually see the loot he drops, but last time he actually dropped uh, some diamond boots, which is very good. And obviously, if there were chests around here, um, we would be able to loot them. I think this is probably the lobby for the map I downloaded, but I, I, I had a fly about and I couldn't find the, uh, the map at all. Uh, so I'm going to throw this right next to him. Goodbye, chicken. Oh, you also get a personalized chicken, which is cool. Uh, bye bye, other account. Nice knowing you. And there's a really cool scoreboard on the right. So it says, Elta Jim has won the game and I've got 100 for victory. So we will be heading back to the lobby now. Uh, in a few seconds, Oop, there we go. And that is uh, the plugin. So you can configure it to your heart's content. We're going to go there now uh, and show you some important things. But uh, overall, this plugin is great. Uh, the dev has made some really fantastic plugins. I hope to uh, cover them all because they're, they're all really good, especially as Survival Games plugin. Um, one of my subscribers requested that, so hopefully I'll get around to doing that very soon. And he also made one in the chamber, Snowball. So yeah, some pretty awesome mini games. And uh, yeah, let's go into the config file and plug in the folder right now and have a look. So here we are in the server folder. And as I mentioned earlier, there are two things that you need to edit before you actually um, start messing around in game and outside the game. So I'm gonna show you this in another server I created for advanced survival games. I'll be covering that uh, soon. So if we open server.properties, we need to set spawn protection from 16 to zero or whatever it's set at. And we also need to go into the bucket.yml and set the autosave to zero as well. So once you've done that, you can get on with creating your maps and server and all of that good stuff. If you don't do that, uh, you may have some issues. So make sure you actually get that done. So once we are here, let's go into uh, all of these six files and have a look at what you can edit. The first one you probably don't want to edit at all. This just saves all of the data from the arenas, um, what world it's in, what you named it, all of the coordinates of the points you set. But you could, for example, just remove one, uh, make sure you remove the bit down here as well, and um, don't leave any weird spaces or tabs, otherwise that'll mess up. Um, so once you've done that, you can close it and restart your uh, server and it will be gone, which is good. Open up the config file and as you can see there is a lot you can edit in here. So we have MySQL database if you want to hook it up to that. We have the lobby point that we set and in between we have quite a few things that you can change. So restart mode, this is uh, quite interesting. I believe there are three different restart modes, 0, 1 and 2. Uh, you can have a look on the Spigot page for what they do, but um, I believe one of them stops the server once the game's over. One of them sends the players back to the uh, lobby, and after 10 games it actually restarts the whole server. So have a look at that, uh, that's a really interesting feature actually. You can change the hub item ID as well as the uh, ID of the compass and voting items, you can do that, that's really cool, and you can also change the names and colours of these things. But the cool thing is, you can change all the times of the grace period, ending time, preparation time, and starting time. I keep this low, as players don't really want to be hanging around in a lobby for ages. I know on big servers, they have it at like 60 seconds or something ridiculous like that, but that's way too long to be waiting. Uh, we have min players, obviously two, me and my other account, but you'd probably want to set that to around, uh, I don't know, six or something, so players actually have a fun time. You can add extra damage to flint and steel and fishing rods, which is nice. And the center chest radius, so you're probably a bit confused about what this means. So there are different types of chests, and obviously the center chest would presumably have better loot in, so uh, you can set it up that way if you want. And uh, if we go down a bit more, we, you can actually enable to use the portal plugin. Uh, that comes with this plugin. Uh, you'll get a RAR or zip file, I can't remember which. And it has both the plugins in. You can set it up with multiple servers, which is a really nice feature. Down here is Teams. So I'll hear loads of you rejoice because I know you like Team Skywars. You can enable that and enable Friendly Fire. I would not suggest doing that as uh, 
especially my friends, if they knew Friendly Fire was on, I'd be off the island instantly. And uh, they'd be laughing about that. But uh, yeah, I'd set that to false. That's probably best. And you can set uh, the max players for that as well. Voting settings. So as I mentioned earlier, you can change uh, where the item is in the inventory, the law, the name, all the colors, all that good stuff. You can change the chat, which is a cool feature. You can have team chat, uh, spectator chat, uh, or you could just uh, disable all of it. Rewards. So as you can see, um, you can enable Vault if you really want to, or you can use the point system that um, the plugin has inside it, which is cool. Map crumble, true. So after 180 seconds, uh, the map will start to crumble from the outside. Um, so that's a cool feature. I didn't actually get to show that in-game, but when I threw the Ender Pearl, that's uh, similar to the map crumble feature. Custom TNT. So you saw that kept respawning. Uh, obviously, five seconds is very overpowered. You could keep going there and picking it up, throwing it, picking it up, throwing it. So maybe, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds? That seems about fair. Chickens. I don't know whether you caught a glimpse of the chicken, but uh, players have their own custom chicken, which is cool, with a nice name tag. Um, and they will actually drop an egg. Commands. Um, enabled false. So when someone's killed, you could perform a command. And when they win, you could perform another command. Um, so that is kind of cool. Now, this is already five minutes. This is going to be the longest video I've ever done. Guardians. So you saw that in game. We have the Defender. You could obviously create a brand new one. Um, going down, pasting it. This could be called I don't know, the Tank. And max health. You could increase it to 50. Um, I fought one earlier and it did take me quite a while to um, kill it. Unless you uh, throw it off the island, as I showed you. You can change the potion effects, which is so cool. You can t change the name and the colors. This is so fantastic. I, if I actually had a server and had this plugin, I, I could spend hours and hours just editing the config files. I used to do that when I had Mob Arena, but uh, that's a story for another day because I'm rambling too much. And you can change uh, the armor it's wearing. So I'd probably change that to diamond, make it really difficult. Um, yeah, just save that and get rid of it. Then we have kits. Um, this is pretty straightforward. You can obviously copy uh, a kit that already exists, paste it in, make sure you do that correctly or you'll have errors. Change the name. Uh, you can change the item ID, the price. So if you're going to change the price here, make sure you change the, the description as well. So if you set the price at like 2000, say the price is only uh, 500, that will confuse players a lot. Um, and you can change the items it gets and um, permission as well. So donators could get their own um, their own ones, which is really nice. And you could also disable kits if you wanted to go hardcore. On to the language file, which we probably shouldn't edit, but you could change this if you wanted to. Um, you could obviously do a little trick I like to do, um, which is search replace and maybe if you don't like the color and seven you could replace it with and C and then you click re replace all and it replaced 14 occurrences um, so that's a nice little trick I like to use and finally the loot file so um, we have simple chests which is uh, the chest on the islands and anywhere else really so that probably wouldn't have the best loot minimum six items max eight then we have the center chests which you saw in the config file at a radius of 20 around the center so this would have probably your diamond armor and less items then we have the zombie loot so when we killed um, that defender he dropped uh, diamond boots the first time so that's kind of cool and that is it I believe this <laughs> this video is like quarter of an hour long but uh, if you if you've made it to the end congratulations um, well done <laughs> you've made it but uh, it's a fantastic plugin really really cool you can do so much with it you can edit it so much and that is it so there'll be a link to the map that I used there'll be a link to the plugin and there'll be uh, links to how to create a server and all that in the description so have a look there subscribe like and I'll see you next time definitely tomorrow yeah I've got I've got, I've got this week fully covered with plugins so uh, enjoy that and I'll see you then.